Good afternoon, everyone. So this is the mod of my team. So we want to make, so the name of our team was 50 Shades of Green. I oh, know it's a fun name. Uh, so it was make the world 50 times better, healthier, safer, and greener. So I'm gonna tell to you a little bit of myself, so you know me better now. So my name is Nefeli, I'm 16 years old, and I'm an IB student. I come from Greece, I live in Belgium, but I currently live in the Netherlands. So I'm asking you today to talk about my experience of Project Green Challenge. Well, when my teacher first introduced me to the project, I was like, yeah, it could be fine. I could take a lot of pictures and post on Instagram. So that's a good idea. So when she talk, I never thought I would be here. And well, I'm in San Francisco. <laughs> So my family, that's my family. I have two brothers and two parents. I, well, they support me, of course, because it was an after-school activities. So, yeah, but they weren't really sure. So they were like, are you sure what are you doing? And I was like, yes. So one day, they look at me very strange when they went for, uh, they asked me to join them for a Sunday morning walk in Amsterdam, and I was like, I can't come. And they're like, why? You come every Sunday with us. And I was like, yeah, you know, I have to upload a challenge, so I can't leave it. I can't leave it. So, yeah, it was strange. So Project Green Challenge changed completely my life. Really. Environmental background. Well, I come from a country who is not recy friendly recycle. Like, you can see the pictures. Like, I know I'm not proud of my country, but can I make a change? Maybe I do. But when I moved to the Netherlands, I really like understood what is like recycling, environment. They they are mad with the environment. Like you walk in the streets and you have everywhere, everywhere beans. Like you have for everything. So I was like, okay, but where I have to put my trash? I don't know. Like, and, and I was never teach about what I have to put inside. And then I realized that it's time maybe now here to find out. So yesterday, and before yesterday, they asked me to describe in few words my Project Green Challenge experience. And I was like, I'm not where I wasn't a green person, but now I am. So Project Green Challenge didn't change my everyday life. Like, OK, let's, let's be honest. I wasn't interested about environment. I do care about what's going on in life. But not that much, because I never had the knowledge to know about that. So Project Green Challenge made me think and act about environment in a ways that I never thought I could do it. So turning green, I did turn green. Like, I, of course I like my conference. I like someone to drive me to school morning and afternoon. But, you know, like, yeah, it's good, like, but I thought about why not to bike. I live like a year in the Netherlands and I never thought I could bike to school. Even all my friends were like, you have to do it, it's good. Like we are Dutch people, so we have to do it. This is our lifestyle. But I was like, yeah, but you know, I'm Greek, so we don't bike to school. <laughs> but then, yeah, so Project Green Challenge made me really cycle every day. Like despite the wind and the rain, I do bike. Even I complain every day, I like it, so it's nice. So. so I had a really good impact to my school. I'm going to an international school, so they have a lot of international students, which they have to be aware of the environment, but they are not. So in my school, there were three teams participating. The first team quit really quickly. I am Later, I understood why they quit, so yeah. The second team was going really good, but they had some communication problems. And my team, well, um, I was alone, like they left me. So I ended up doing my challenges alone for like about three days. So we had a lot of troubles. They thought that I was pressuring them too much. And I was like, I don't pressure you, I just tell you what I have to do. So, you know, it's a difference between the things. But then they couldn't share the same feelings I have about environment in the Power Project Green Challenge. So yeah, that was a hard moment. Like I thought I had to do challenges every day, but I never thought about this challenge. 
So, real teamwork. Natanya, my partner in this challenge, she joined me, and we actually did a great work together. Like, we're like up, up all night, all day, we're talking about that. And yeah, Project Green Challenge gave me a friend that I didn't have before. So inspire people. I inspire a lot of people, my friends, my brother. I convinced my brother to join, the, to be the leader of the green team in my school. And like, they go outside of the school every day and they teach people where they, have, where they have to throw their trash, where they have to go with their bike. And then also, me and my classmates, we, we're thinking about, we're like walking in the school and we're thinking about, wow, that's a lot of trash, we need to do something. So we found out, we, we created a project of a non-point source pollution, which is about food waste and plastic waste. So now we teach people how they, the, how they have to put their, their garbage in the So I learned about fast fashion, water footprint, fur trade, and a lot of like all the things that all the finance learn about, but you also learn about time management, friendship, and action. So my dream is to become a journalist. I'm really inspired by Erin. I didn't know her before, but I saw all her work, and I was like, yeah, I want to become like her. <laughs> <laughs> so the journey, the journey will not stop within 24th of November, no matter the outcome. Like, I already like, want a lot of things. Like, Pamela told me, you already won. You don't, you don't have to stress about that. You already... Fine, you are the finest, you are here. And I was like, yeah, I'm here. So, yeah, so I want to, <laughs> so I want to pass through, uh, I want to pass through to other young people that they don't know about environment. Like I didn't know also, and I wanted to have someone to learn to me all these things. So I want to share my experience to everyone, like as much as possible. So, because of Project Green Challenge, I had like, they create a lot of buzz in my school. They're so, like, oh, you are the girl who went to San Francisco? I'm like, yeah, that's me. But they never knew why I'm going to San Francisco. I was like, I'm not going for a dream, I'm going for a challenge, I'm going for the finals. So, a Greek journalist in Trump Forward TV contacted me from here because she would like to, uh, to write an article about me. So, someone from Europe coming to US, it's a big deal. Like, yeah, so this is an article from our local um, community who wrote about us and about our journey here. And then some Greek vlogs, they want to write something about me. And NRC Radio in the Netherlands is a big station there. They want to interview me when I'll be back. And I was like, yeah, I can do that. I have a lot of things to say about and now I have more than before. So, as I told before, Greece is not environment at all. So I want to bring back to my home country. And why not to turn Greece green? Because it's not green at all, it's only blue, so yeah. <laughs> so after the Paris attack, the world is changing, is facing a new challenge, and unfortunately it's not green. So the French, um, the, the French Revolution motto was Liberté, Egalité, Fraternité. And that is a green solution because environment is also that. So the green rights, we want freedom, equality to natural resources, but solidarity for sustainability. We have, green also have the same rights as us. So, I would like to thank Project Green Challenge. I would like to thank you for all this experience and all this, launch, all this knowledge that you gave to me that I never expected to know all these things. I never thought myself to stand here today and talk to all of you. I, I don't have a lot of words to describe that. When my friends asked me, how you describe your experience? I was like, it's just awesome. Like, it's just awesome. <laughs> so thank you very much. <laughs>